Uh, Mike, can, can you talk a little bit about the um, technical details of this uh, unified platform? Sure. It, it starts with the with a head end unit and where we have built in a lot of modularity, taking the RF signal. Um, we run that through and we convert that to an optical signal is where this where the system really starts. And once you take that wireless signal, that wireless RF signal, uh, you run it through fiber. We run that fiber all the way from the basement of a building, for instance, or the rooftop of a building, all the way out down into some equipment at, at each level of the floor, um, where we where we then connect over and we run a cabling infrastructure that incorporates both power and fiber. The signal continues to, the RF signal continues to move over the fiber, but now we have a, a hybrid cable that carries power all the way out to the antenna point and the access point. And at that access point, then we convert the RF signal back um, uh, with a media converter, and that's the, the signal gets distributed out into the, the, the cellular signal gets distributed out into the, to the, uh, to the network. And then on the on the power and it's powered by the twisted pair that we've injected into the cable, and that power it provides a power for the, not only the antenna unit but all of the other modules that you can hook into and plug off of the of the base antenna uh, system. Can you talk about the capacity at the uh, edge of the network, if you will, and some of the flexible uh, modular capabilities at the edge? Yeah, we we took uh, took an opportunity to not only create this. Uh, access point at the edge to be more than just an antenna that provides cellular coverage. It also has a capability to be a, a unified infrastructure to insert modules to carry, for instance, a, a megabit of, of gigabit Ethernet traffic back o over the network and offload off of a traditional LAN infrastructure. And so um, you will find in our system, whether you're at the head end or in the closet or out at the ceiling, a number of modules that if it's of interest and of need for a customer, they can, we can, we can add those features in. But if not, if you're looking for kind of a bare bones traditional DAS system, that'll that'll work it just as well. And uh, Corning has made a decision to focus primarily on uh, indoor DAS uh, versus looking at macro, um, um, perhaps outdoor um, uh, passive systems. Why is that? Yeah, we we have found a great synergy with our traditional structured cabling products that Corning has been renowned for and known for in the industry, uh, the optical uh, platform that, that we have developed in terms of our uh, structured cabling. So well suited for enterprise and, and in-building uh, solutions. And so what we have learned is that we have something pretty unique in our infrastructure. How do we then take advantage of that fiber infrastructure and, and provide not only just traditional land services or other sorts of services over that, but how do we provide that sort of cellular and wireless coverage as well? And so it's, it's very complementary to our existing business, um, being inside buildings, inside data centers, inside lands, office environments, hotels, stadiums, all very familiar territory for Corning. And so we found great synergy being in, in the building. Uh, outside the building, we've looked at that. We, we do like all of the activity that uh, wireless is creating in the form of backhaul, and we are actively engaged in the, the, the backhaul of all of the wireless traffic over fiber optic systems and infrastructure. But I think our interests are limited primarily around the passive infrastructure in the outdoor environment. One final question, Mike. Um, is Corning in the professional services business in terms of designing these systems, furnishing, and installing? Yeah, uh, to a degree. We're, that's not uh, what I would consider our core competency in a, in a primary business driver or business model that we've uh, that we've taken on. We do provide designs for sure with our for our for our customers in terms of designing a system that works for their for their building and for their environments to optimize the solution the corning solution um, we do on occasion we'll provide the turnkey services we tend to prefer to work with our partners uh, that are that are more suited to take on the installation sorts of work that's uh, that's required mike thanks again for your time thank you appreciate it